Alright guys, how's it going? So Blender 2.9 just recently released and it's looking damn good to be honest. Loads of new tools, loads of new features but today I want to kind of concentrate on the Extrude Manifold and I'll go over some of the basics with the Extrusion tools. Now I'll try and make this as simple as I can because I'm a simple man. <laughs> so in traditional fashion, let's delete the default cube. But I want to show you one quick tool and it's the new interactive mesh tools, or parametric objects as I call them. So what we can do here is add a cube and quickly draw in what we need. How simple is that? Should have been there years ago, but it's there now. <laughs> so I'll tab into edit mode and we'll take a look at the extrusion tools. So what I'm going to do here is I'll press 3 to select faces and I'll drop the tool. Now most people know what the extrusion tool does. If you come to the extrude menu here, extrude region, it essentially makes a new cut every time you extrude and it's a great little tool and it's pretty damn powerful. Now I want to show you the difference between extrude region and extrude manifold. So I'll extrude here, you'll notice that it actually makes a cut and pulls the mesh out. So if I change this to extrude manifold, watch the difference here. You'll notice that it doesn't make the cut and it just pulls the mesh exactly out. Now this is brilliant, this is a great little tool to be honest because check this out. I can start moving things in and out very easily and that's really the main difference between Extrude Region and Extrude Manifold. Now they both have their own place in the workflow and I recommend using both of them to your advantage. So let me take a look at Extrude Individual Faces. Now I'm going to give you an example here. I'll come to Extrude Region. Just in case you're unaware, the shortcut for bringing up the Extrude menu is Alt and E. Obviously you need to have Topology selected and that will give you all the options. But let's say for example I select this polygon and I select this polygon. And I'm on Extrude Region. Now check this out. It goes in the direction that I kind of expect it to go in. But what if I want the mesh to go this way and this way? Now there's two ways we can kind of use this. So I'll undo this and I'll quickly change to Extrude Individual. Now watch what happens. That's really the main difference between Extrude Region and Extrude Individual. Now just to give you another example, let's quickly make another cut here. Let's select here and here, and let's use Individual. Perfecto. So hopefully this gives a better example of some of the differences when using the Extrusion tools. Let's take one last look at one last tool, and let's quickly add it in a UV sphere. Let's scale this right up. What I'll do here is I'll actually enable normals to give you a better view. I'll quickly select a few polygons just to give you an example. And I'll change this back to extrude region. Now when I extrude, it kind of averages out the normals. Now this looks perfectly fine but check this out when I use extrude normal. So I'll select a few more polygons, I'll press Alt and E and I'll change this to extrude face along normals and watch what it does. That's a very quick demonstration how extrude normals work and you can see that the direction is actually the same as the normals. Compared to the extrude version you can see that they're actually pulling in towards each other and I think it works over an average of the normals. Do me a favour guys, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, follow me on Twitter, support me on Gumroad, you know what to do.